wait, Luke is gonna join us. He is in Goa, chilling. <laughs> uh, last I spoke to him, he said he was just doing a session with his patients, so work doesn't cease. And as you are all aware, one second, guys, while we get Luke uh, online, I just have someone who's at the door. Second. Stay on. <laughs> yes. I have not left. I'm here. And for some reason, I'm not able to get in touch with Luke. But we're just going to see what's what's wrong actually the network in goa is pretty bad so I'm just trying to figure out but while we're all here oh uh, may as well make the best of it yes Preeti, <laughs> krishna uh luke if you can hear me i've already sent you a request and please join in see is real <laughs> Oh, I can't. Oh, my God. So, Luke has to send a request. Luke, send a request. Well, that's my husband. Uh, well, I've sent the request. Yeah, I know so. you have to wait for Luke to send a request. Well, c'est la vie. We always plan things, but uh, there's always something that's uh, planned before <laughs> what we have thought of. So yeah, this is also happening for the best. So Krishna, and uh, also while I'm speaking and addressing um, uh, important points today, if there are any points that you uh, would like clarity on, uh, please do send in your questions and I will uh, broach those topics. Uh, this is a great opportunity to learn about nutrition only from the best in the industry. Luke has a reputation that precedes him. Um, he excels in um, the treatment of cancer. He's one of the top nutritionists of the country. And I feel so happy that um, he's joining us going to join us in less than a second i managed to get through yay okay yay luke where were you hi shilpa how are you i'm good how are you and my husband's making a sharp exit very well very well <laughs> yeah then there was something wrong Say with our network Raj. we couldn't yeah. get in touch with you yeah, I think it's a yeah. bit slow on my side. It's the Goa network, but let's see how we can do with this. Yeah. yeah. Relax like the people. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I was just telling our audiences who, are, who have joined in uh, for this very interesting chat. I am really excited, Luke, because for me, I don't look at you as someone who's obviously um, really talented, very blessed and very knowledgeable. Uh, you excel in the field of nutrition. But other than that, what I love about you is your sheer positivity, uh, the fact that you're so real and you are a very dear friend of mine. So uh, I'm so happy that we were able to make this uh, happen. And uh, uh, well, I have to tell you guys, um, Luke used to uh, be able to speak to me far more than... <laughs> He's able to now because he is inundated with uh, with work, and actually now people can't get in touch with him. So now I um, I feel I have to start opening and I have to open an agency now, Luke, because there are so many requests that happen via me. They call me and they're like, "Okay, can you please get me in touch with Luke, please?" You know, I'm not getting an appointment. Luke, what are you doing? So it's really, it, it's it speaks volumes about you. Uh, people Thank trust you, you. and uh, especially cancer management and cancer treatment. Um, I know we're dealing with a really uh, unprecedented virus in time, but I'm sure there are other people suffering even in this 
in this diet so how what do you suggest what do you suggest for the, all those people who are suffering with their ailments now i'm not going to talk about corona virus i think we are honestly up to term with information <laughs> yeah. uh, regarding that i want to deal with with people or rather uh, understand how do those people uh, manage mm-hmm. their problems Right, Shilpa. So, in fact, it's quite interesting. We actually think that now during lockdown, people will find it more difficult. But we're getting most of our results with our patients all around the world during lockdown. You know, people who have diabetes, the sugar levels are falling in place because they're eating home cooked food. They're eating simple food. They don't have access to outside food. So we see sugar levels falling in place. All my my clients who couldn't lose weight are all losing weight now because they don't have all the snacking oh, wow. that's happening outside. they have home food so we're actually learning a lot of positive things blood pressure patients are recording a dip in their blood pressure because they're not you know they don't have that uh, everyone has stress but you know that outside stress when you go out work office traffic all of that isn't there right now so we're actually seeing how certain conditions are really really getting better right now because people have more time for themselves but there's also the other population who doesn't know what to do with that time and they're ending up binge drinking skipping their sleep to watch tv all day all, all the time on social media news channels getting more and more stressed because there's so much of uncertainty in the world so there are always two kinds of people and the lockdown is bringing out the best and the worst of both sides you know so it's a really good time for people to invest in their health right now to do little things that they can do at home to get better so what do you how do you suggest uh, one does that i mean are there any tips that you can give us um, on what can enhance skin for example or hair in this time you know invest time in yeah. uh, so right. what are the modifications uh, that you suggest that we should do so shilpa i'm going to just quote all your suggestions in the great indian diet book <laughs> that you put down so number 1 we number suggested one is, we suggested <laughs> yeah I mean uh, number one is coconut oil you can't go wrong with coconut oil whether it's in your cooking or you apply it on your hair then we good enough i think too that's it yeah please don't <laughs> i thought as much you would say that yeah but see shilpa yeah. no, it's not me remember. it's my mother she's having four micros a day <laughs> thank you if she's working out taking care of herself fine but i think in moderation two mangoes to three mangoes is good enough in a day for everyone i'm happy i'm, I'm very I'm cool happy i have you on record <laughs> yeah then yeah then we have amla we have amla which is the indian gooseberry that is fantastic for your hair it's great for your skin people can't go wrong with fruits and fresh vegetables i mean these are foods which are designed to improve your skin quality your hair even black tea green tea these are fantastic for the skin and hair so there are these are all the basic foods that are available the bare essentials that people are getting right now is their hair and their skin through lockdown yeah, yeah. that's brilliant that's a great suggestion also um, almonds right I swear by oh, yes. almonds. almonds. Yeah, so I soak those uh, yeah. uh, eight six almonds every day religiously, and I have them. And I also have a soaked fig, so that also clears my uh, my stomach. And you you can't stop emphasizing on gut health. So the connection between gut health and immunity. is correlated uh so tell us or give us tips on how to maintain gut health i've lost you there oh no look and the call has dropped and he's going to join us again just a second oh my god 
adding Luke Coutinho again. Sorry, guys. These are things that aren't in my hand. So, yeah. Hi, I'm I back. Sorry back. about that. You're yeah. back. Hi, so Raj. Fast, How are you, Raj? <laughs> <laughs> he knows I'm terrible at these things, so he's rushed back. <laughs> because he's obviously watching us from the other room. <laughs> no, but also, Sorry, yeah. Luke, I have mm -hmm. to thank you. Uh, even if it means with uh, this being privy <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. by all these people. Uh, well, I happen, I, I managed to get him uh, on track with his working out, but his diet. So, you, see, you know, when people uh, are sitting at home, you, can, you tend to get a little lazy and lackadaisical, but... And you have to have the right diet that kind of balances right. it out. And when you say, when you use the word diet, it doesn't mean that you have to uh, go devoid of um, a certain yeah. thing that you like. Mm -hmm. You have to just balance it. But I think what has really worked for, for Raj is uh, intermittent. And you have been guiding him uh, yeah. Yeah, on it. So he's done it seven <clears> days in a row. And he, I can really see great results. So you've written about yeah. it. You've just come out with your book. Tell us about it. How does it work? What's the magic? So it's simple. I think uh, everyone is eating way too much and at different timings every day. Like Shilpa, I remember you, you had that discipline and I think you still have it of eating your dinner before sunset. You eat early yeah. dinners and you don't eat anything after that. That's exactly what it is. You need to leave a gap between your dinner and your next meal. So anywhere between 12 depending is fantastic. That's good enough. And that's exactly what Raj is doing. But a lot of people push themselves into fasting. So they start drinking. Okay. You don't have to push Absolutely. it to 16? Not necessary. Not necessary at all. You know, when your body tells you to break the fast, it's physically hungry, you break the fast because your body's done its job. And I think Raj is doing it pretty well. He keeps messaging me, you know, 16 hours, 15 hours, and it's perfectly well. Listen to your body. And that's how fasting has to be. It is therapeutic. It is therapeutic for health. Yes. You know, also... Um, uh, Give us, give us tips on, uh, while I know this is, uh, this is your area of expertise and we're talking about nutrition, uh, we got cut off when we were discussing uh, gut health and how, how important it is to look after your gut in times like this because, you know, we want our, our immunity to be at its best and how Correct. gut health is actually directly um, uh, related to um, our immunity. So talk about that, right. Luke, and... Um, Give us some simple pointers on how to maintain it. Sure, Shilpa. So the gut is everything. It's your second brain. In anatomy, it's called your second brain. So it's, connect it's connected with your immune system and also your feelings. We've had so many patients who have come to us with depression. And all we've done is fix their gut because they had really bad gut health, bloating, acidity. And then their traits of depression actually disappear for a lot of people who are depressed because your gut has an impact on your mind, how you feel your serotonin, your dopamine. So if you have really bad gut health, you may not be depressed, but you have the feeling of being depressed. And then you could actually be treated the wrong way. So when it comes to your gut, at least 75% of your immune system starts in your gut. So we need to invest in that. Some of the simplest things is number one, cut out sugar. People keep Googling what are the best foods for the gut, but we need to take away the things which are bad for the gut. So number one is white sugar. We have to cut that down. You can yes. eat organic berries all through the day, but if you have too much of sugar, your bad bacteria is going to be more than the good bacteria. So we need to cut down sugar for sure. You know, if we really want something sweet, we can move to a good raw honey. We can move to maybe stevia, a little bit of jaggery, but it has to be in balance. Number two are your prebiotics and your probiotics. Examples of prebiotics are your garlic, your onion, all of this, apple cider vinegar. These are great prebiotics. And probiotics are your yogurts, your curds, certain yeah. pickles, which are made the right way, your kimchi, yes. all of these are fantastic probiotics. And in India, especially South India, we have rice kanji, where you take the leftover rice, soak it overnight in water, and in the morning you drink that water and eat the rice. By far, that is one of the most powerful probiotics we have seen work with people. So I think with gut health, we can't overeat. If we overeat, we're putting too much of acids and the digestion becomes very complicated. If we're constipated, we need to sort out constipation. Otherwise, that in turn has an adverse effect on the gut. So I think symptoms that people need to look out for is acidity, constant burping, bloating all the time, you know, flatulence, too much of gas, too much of flatulence and constipation. And sometimes you look at your tongue and it's yellow at the back, thick white, that means your gut isn't too good. Yeah, yeah and, and I've, I've found my new poison now. I'm having my CCFT 
and you can explain exactly. to people what is yeah it's uh, uh cumin uh coriander Aww. roasted and uh, fennel seeds so it's yeah, that's it's a great really, combination yeah it's a, mm -hmm. it's it's fantastic and it really really works for me because i am governed by vata dosh so i mm -hmm. have the tendency of getting a little acidic so this is something i have i sip on it religiously and you fantastic. know in times like this while we are you know obviously combating with a virus that can't survive um, in um, hot conditions and i'm right. talking about even hot conditions in your body so you have right. to obviously constantly feed yourself with hot water just as a preventive measure yeah. uh so this is something i keep sipping on all the time yeah and um it's really helped um with my acidity and i don't i'm not as acidic anymore but uh, right. back in the day i used to be so um so for all those people who think that you know oh it all looks great no we all have issues we're all human we're all fallible and um it's wonderful to know that nothing in life uh is impossible to deal with there are always right. it's not rocket science and nutrition is is one of those things that if you get it right you can lead right. a very healthy and happy life so if you're happy from within it will you know it will it will, it will reflect on the outward and that's sure. exactly why we have loop with us who's going to help us shilpa i have a question for you uh, how come from the time i've met you yeah. we've traveled together all of that stuff i've never seen you stressed out i've never seen you tensed i've never seen you sad even when you know there were like you know you had acidity or whatever it is i've never seen you stressed so i really want to know that because you have a busy life you have a family you're a hands on mom i know that i know that that you spend you do everything for your kids a lot of people out there assume that the rich people and you know a lot of people in bollywood have nannies for their kids and actors you know and all of that stuff but i've seen you i've seen you with vian i've seen you right through your hands on i also remember we were late for our flight back from qatar to bombay we had an event and like they would literally close the gates and you were just smiling and laughing and you were not tense and i was like so worried that we're going to miss the flight what is your secret how are you happy all the time and genuinely people who are watching this I've been with Shilpa and genuinely it's not a face that she puts on she's never stressed <laughs> out so now you need to tell us what you do because I'm constantly telling people to meditate and breathe and do all of that stuff you tell us what you do Shilpa you know i i really think that uh, i really think i'm very fortunate i'm very blessed um i do get depressed i do get worried when i when i see the news when i see you know i i i was I was going through these um, uh, articles, and uh, it really broke my heart to see people traveling bare feet, and you know they had calluses on their on their feet, and pregnant women uh, walking all the way home. These things, it, it's it's other people's problems that actually depress me. Uh, we all have our fair share of problems, Luke, and it's no it's not true that I do not get upset and I don't get angry. Maybe you. maybe um it is also the energy that um uh, that i get from you you're such a happy positive person and you exude not that all the time. so that's so no. i guess you're right not all the time <laughs> i have a fair share of problems yeah. um and uh, we all all combat it in our own ways uh, possible <clears throat> but i think uh, whenever i'm sad or depressed i i i go i go with the flow so i i, I live in the moment and i don't hold on to it so for all those people who are listening to us um, it is perfectly normal to feel sad and depressed and feel anxiety and feel anger i go through all those emotions i'd be inhuman if i didn't if i didn't um but when i go through those those emotions those negative emotions or those gray areas i i just uh, think about stuff that i have gratitude for and then i tied over it so that's my uh, that's the method to my madness and we all have right. our ways of doing it some people say that uh, you should walk walk through a doorway <laughs> that helps you cope that stress i mean these are weird things right. so stress you know the thing is the more you feed uh, your stress they become those big monsters and then they start feeding off you and then they Correct. eat you up one day so Absolutely. you'd rather not pay too much attention so someone has asked us what is this ccft guys it's not rocket science it's just uh, jeera it's a uh, uh, dhaniya akha dhaniya akha jeera and akha sauce 
so you just take it and you roast it a bit and i what i do is i put it in a uh, glass bottle and i just take a, a teaspoon and a half put it into two uh, two and a half uh, glasses of water usko hum boil karte hain for around um, a good 15 minutes and that's it it's a green color light green color uh, tea that happens and it's like green tea so you just put it in a thermos and you store it and you can keep having it now i'm speaking like you so <laughs> <laughs> no but you more importantly yeah. i really you know um, in between uh, the bollywood industry lost two great great right. um, actors and human beings we lost uh, irfan sir and rishi ji and honestly I, i think i i reached my lowest ebb then and um, i know of a lot of people who did feel very low also in the industry maybe because we knew them as well personally but there are a lot of people who are maybe suffering with issues and they all felt like oh this could happen to me as well yeah. and, you know life is so unpredictable and you do you do go through those uh, those feelings of anxiety so what do you suggest for people out there who are feeling depression because food again is interrelated correlated with depression absolutely so i think uh, you know when people see this happening i mean there's a lot of death happening in our world every single day but these are people they've related to them in movies they've been part of their childhood their lives and everything else we have to understand there are two ways of course our prayers should go out to their families number one because we have to give back that energy and then number two it should help us to focus on what we have right now we are blessed because we have our life we have people around us who have their life so sometimes we have to learn from these things that have happened you know it's unfortunate like i say it can happen to anyone you know if it's your destiny it is going to happen to anyone no matter who you are what your designation is what bank balance we have it doesn't matter but from this then this is what we want people to learn from in life that you have to live in the moment you have to be grateful for what you have right now because when it's lost it's lost and it's unfortunate that we have to learn these lessons as reminders from two veterans who have passed away recently but i think constantly you know you're big on gratitude you don't go to bed without practicing gratitude that's what you told me every single day it's part of your life it's part of my life that's what makes us realize what we have but when we lose it there's too much of regret and too much of grief so when it comes to food i think you know the cleaner we eat the better we are that's why spirituality teaches us to So I think oh, it's extremely important for us. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. I yeah. think it's extremely important for us to learn from, you know, life is cost, constantly te- teaching us how to live. But now I uh, hopefully we we'll remember them for a long time, but most people will get back to their lives, get back to poor lifestyles, not looking after oh, themselves. Oh, I hope not. You know, I really that usually happens. Yeah. I really hope so. not. I hope I hope we learn and take a leaf from mm-hmm. this and this time shouldn't go to waste. So g- tell us okay. um give us maybe some tips look on how to take precautionary measures not just now but even in the future because um, i really believe that you know uh, even um, even in terms of etiquette you know i think it's an important topic to broach while we're talking about masks and gloves now but i've always noticed if there's someone who's down with a flu you know earlier uh, or someone has a bad cough and is traveling on a flight they never ever wear a mask they don't yeah. take care and they really don't take care about the other person i think we right. need to um, we need to be aware that you know these are these are things that we need to take care for other people and right. uh, uh, we it's not about just the corona virus even a simple flu you know why can't Correct. why can't Absolutely. we think about other people as well so you know this this habit should continue we should we should start maintaining cleanliness we should we should wear a mask if we are ill you know you don't want to spread the germs so that is right. something that yeah. i think that i have uh, i have taken and also the fact being that you know i live on the beach i've said this before right. now when i open the window and i see the beach it's so clean you know it used to be so dirty and yeah. it makes me want to cry because if I mean after this lockdown is over and done with and we tied through this time 
I hope we don't get back to square one. You know, yeah. because I I hope people people are a little more responsible. You know, I know we've digressed away from food and nutrition, but you know, I really feel that while we are maintaining cleanliness within us, yeah. we have to maintain it even around us. No, and Shilpa, you're apt. I mean, important. what you're saying has everything to do with health. People think it's all nutrition and exercise. No, but it's also your area. Now, all you know, a lot of my asthmatic children. my lung cancer patients my copd lung issue patients are doing way better because the air is cleaner so it is important what you're talking about is very important for our health it's not just nutrition and exercise and if we don't learn from this and we go back to that life i think nature is going to come down on us very very harshly and very strongly if we don't learn from this because you know you don't just need medicine or food to improve someone's lungs the first thing you need is clean air So if you don't have clean air, your medicine and nutrition is secondary. It's not going to do what nature is supposed to do for us. So, like you, I'm hoping that people really take this seriously. And like you said, you know, everyone has to start practicing themselves. Now, tomorrow we take masks and we go out, but someone in public just sneezes outside without a mask. It's like we've lost the whole game. We've lost the lesson. You know, so they should make it mandatory. That's a good thing that they'll make it mandatory. They should. They should. Yeah, and I feel in other countries they actually, um, you know, they they are cognizant about the fact that you know, okay, we we are down with the flu, so we don't want to spread it. But in Absolutely. our country, I think yeah. somewhere we that takes a back seat. So I hope yeah. that that continues. And um, let's let's talk about maybe we've got very little time, considering your bad network. We will continue. <laughs> <laughs> we'll continue. We'll yeah. go on. Yeah. <laughs> um. Give us maybe some easy concoctions, Luke. I I know you you know you're you're really fab with these things. Um, and how, what what can we do? What can we make quickly in terms of you know um, uh, think with things that are readily available to maybe right. strengthen our immunity, or maybe some feel good kind of medicine. Right. Okay. Cool. That is so. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to give the concoction. You're going to give it the feel-good factor. So it works as a placebo. People will drink it and feel good. That's how we're going to do it. Okay. So the simplest thing is we can't go wrong with ginger. A one in, one inch piece of ginger mashed with two cloves of garlic. Okay. We boil this in water. Add a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of dalchini, cinnamon, and then we pour it in a mug and sprinkle a little bit of lemon juice. This is by far one of the most powerful immune boosters. Now, if someone is Jane and they can't have they can't have ginger and they can't have garlic. That's not a problem. They can do a con- yeah. They can do a concoction of fennel seeds, which is soft. Exactly what you have: cumin, the uh, jeera, soft ajwine, and what they can add to it is a little bit of turmeric. And they boil this concoction, they cool it, and then they add a little bit of lemon juice. By far, yeah. these are the two most powerful concoctions which we've used way before the lockdown for people with influenza, virals, colds, and coughs. You know, turmeric is excellent, Shilpa. As you know, you know, even having a little bit of turmeric, a pinch of black pepper, and a little bit of ghee or coconut oil in the morning to every absorb morning, it. That yeah. is fantastic for immunity. So and these are the simplest morning. concoctions. Yeah. Yeah. These yes. are things people can make easily. And I swear by it. I swear by it, Luke. I mean, I know you and I. We are people who don't just preach it. We also practice it. And practice for all it, those people yeah. who are listening to us and who want to follow us. we want to tell you that it's made a, a world of a difference to our lives you know and that's right. the reason we're here in this city and we're talking to you that if you are if you really want help you have to help yourself you know we can yeah. give you tips but if you are not going to um, absolutely you know take it in your hands and have the will power and and make that lifestyle modification no one is going to be able to help you But right. um uh talk a little more about you Luke tell us uh, have you are you enjoying this time now in goa I'm loving this time. I mean, I mean, we're how all on earth did out. you know? How on earth did you know that Goa was going to be the only place that was not going to get affected? <laughs> you know, so I'll be honest about you. You know, about four days before the lockdown, I was at reset. I was consulting with a patient, and believe me, I always believe in a higher power. I don't want to give it a name. I don't want to give it religion. But I was in between a consult, Shilpa, and I got this gut feeling that hey, finish this consult, shut down reset. go back home you know take your family and move back to goa where my parents live and it all happened in a few hours by evening i was home my partner and i decided to shut down reset send everyone home i was on an early morning flight the next day and i reached goa it was gut instinct it was gut instinct i believe in grace i really believe in grace and we just got on the flight we said if it's not we'll come back to bombay it's the simplest thing yeah. so we i ended up in goa there i'm loving it i mean everyone has stress 
But like you said, I'm a believer of, I believe that fear and anxiety is a wasted emotion. It's a wasted emotion. It can't change anything. But what you can do is let the emotion motivate you to do something, learn something, make a new business stream, write a book. There's so much you can do. So I usually transform energy from fear and anxiety into something that I can do. And that's why, honestly, I'm not stressed. My heart goes out to everyone out there who's suffering, migrant workers, you know, all of this stuff, it goes out. But at the end of the day, you know, I feel calm, I feel cool, and I feel that, you know, whatever's happening, you know, like what you demonstrated about your stress is the power of acceptance. I've accepted it. There's nothing else you can do. There's no point but not accepting the situation we're in. Exactly. And acceptance helps mantra. us to get on. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So that's about yeah. it. Shilpa, I need to ask you one quick question, Shilpa. Why? Okay. So a lot of parents, a lot of moms out there. Now, I know you to be a hands-on mom, no matter, you know, no matter your status, what you have and stuff like that. You're hands-on with your, with your kids. Uh, what are your tips to moms? Because a lot of moms are getting frustrated at home because they're in a situation where their children are with them throughout the day. Usually five to six hours at school, so they have their breaks, they can go out of coffee shops and all of that yeah. stuff. But a lot of them are getting completely stressed out about being at home. So you're a mom, you would be able to relate better. So could you answer that question, please? You know, um, each to their own. And, you know, yeah. we all uh, are in different situations. And uh, I'm very blessed. I have to, I have to uh, give credit where, it, where it's due. I have a husband who's also very hands-on. So Raj is a great father. So we kind of decided that we were going to divide um, the chores. And um, obviously, Samisha's, uh, Samisha needs me much more right now because she's going to complete three months. So all, obviously, all the feeds and it's a lot of late nights and all of that. But we, Raj actually looks after all of Vian's uh, virtual uh, lessons. And I really feel that if the men are watching us, they need to help out. Why, why is it taken for granted that only the mother should be looking after the kids? Agreed. I'm sorry, you, you know, you are, you are 50% responsible too. So you have to, you have to take up that responsibility. Um, this is a great time, but it can also be extremely daunting, especially for people who have more than three kids. And uh, if, if you've got children who are doing virtual classes online, it's even more difficult because imagine if you have one who's five, uh, one who's seven and one who's 10, how are you to divide the time? You know, but uh, I, I just feel that quality time um, has to be emphasized on as well. While uh, you want your child to also, uh, you know, understand that th th there are some. But you kind of divide that time. So mornings are with um, with my husband and. You know, evenings he spends time time with me, and uh, that's how we do it. And we bake together. We build pillow forts. Um, we play carom. We play monopoly. So do stuff that you know the kids enjoy as well. And um, yeah, and then there is some time that you have to let them be on their own as well. So uh, that's how we do it. And yeah, I've got help thank thankfully because um, I work very erratic. Uh, timings uh, when I'm working on set but when I'm at home I'm very hands-on and um, I can't have I can't express my gratitude for all the time I have now with my kids so just uh, value this time guys and life is so unpredictable so just make the best so while Luke Coutinho has left where has he gone I have to also say bye because my husband has come in and told me that uh, my time. My <laughs> my baby has woken up. So um, after that, then we play Monopoly. So this time is my child's time. But it was, it was really wonderful um, connecting with all you people. Thank you. The person out there who said they love my TikTok videos. <laughs> Luke! Where are you, Luke? I can't end it without you. And my son is here. Vian, come here! Yeah. <laughs> So, yes, there is yeah. Vian. Vian, are you here? Yeah. You remember Luke Ankur? Yeah. Yes, yes. Hi, Vian. Hi. Yeah, Vian is giving a haircut by his father, Luke. Can you see it? 
<laughs> you're looking good, man. I like all your martial art videos. Become, like what did What have you done? What have you made? Chips. Vian has just made his own chips at oh, home. Cool. <laughs> Don't show Luke, Uncle. He might uh, uh, faint because they're fried. No, no, no. I love fried homemade chips. Please, <laughs> I love fried homemade chips. Yeah. yeah. So my my son loves to cook, and um, awesome. this is our time. Vian, are you ready? For Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Thank you, Luke, for making it. Thanks, Shilpa. And um, I hope yeah. I hope all you people out there, आपको अच्छा लगा ये conversation and uh, you must follow Luke because um, uh, he's one of those people that will really help you to lead your lives in the healthiest fashion possible. <laughs> and uh, Luke, I love you. Get back and I hope to we'll be on Thank the you. other side soon after this lockdown. And, I'm sure uh, we will very soon. Yes, we will. We will. Bless you all, and please stay at home. Please don't flout the rules, and stay safe, stay happy. Swastha ho, masra ho. Love you guys. Bye, Shilpa. Bye. See you. Bye, everyone.